Hello uh, accounts people, time to look at reapportionment. Uh, the absorption has already been done on this question, which is the AAT's practice one. Painting can't even got longer names in the actual exam. And the 4,058,000 is already here, but actually we should be cross-casting at the bottom to get back to the 4,058,000. So I've left it blank on the spreadsheet. So they've given you the primary allocation as complete. Uh, all we're interested actually is in the totals, which means we can cheat on the spreadsheet, makes it clearer on screen. I can use a bigger typeface and more zeroing in because we're only interested in the totals it's just kind of showing you where it's come from so this is actually a step down and direct so we've got two that are direct down here and one step down a full step down you'd see the blanks here everything else would be grayed and gives you more complicated numbers that don't really give you any benefit so the instruction says the general admin is going to be split between the other four departments, that's the step, in the ratio of 40%, 40%, 10% and 10%, so we'll better get on with it. So we could type in the 674,000, of course you've got to do that on the calculator, but I can do it like that. And then most calculators you can do 40% or you could do 0.4. Same, sum. That's also 40%, and maintenance was 10%. Ten percent or point one or divide by hundred times ten. Six hundred and seventy-four thousand. Could just divide by ten as it's ten percent. Now that should mean we have credited general admin, debited the others, and the instruction says they want minus symbols here, which makes far more sense on the spreadsheet as well, because nobody in their right mind would do this manually. In the real world, everybody does these on spreadsheets. So if I take naught minus see, 9, hang on, no, no, no. Put zero equals naught minus, that's better. C9 minus D9 minus E9 minus F9 minus 674,000. You can see it's, it's cross cast to zero and it should cross cast vertically as well. But of course, you won't be filling those cells in in the exam. So now we've got. The direct method, stores is direct into paint and canning, however a common mistake is to miss out either the total or the reapportionment. What we're actually reapportioning is the 403,400. Uh, nice and easy numbers though because they're giving us 8280 and 5520 requisitions. Requisitions are a little bit of paper or course could be done electronically that you hand over the counter of a traditional stores department signed by your manager can I have these screws these bolts or, or these parts and if we add it up we've got a total of 13,800 requisitions so it's the measure of work it's the it's a good means um, on a calculator or a spreadsheet, we can do divide the proportion, work out the proportion times the cost. Uh, no need for brackets because it's it, the spreadsheet. It will do the division before the multiplication. If you did it the other way, the bill times the proportion, you'd need brackets around the eight to eighty and the thirteen thousand eight hundred. But that works nicely, so the proportion times the bill. How much of the bill you're going to have is the most logical. And then now we know what number is going to come up there, but if we do. Uh, 
we get the minus version just to prove it. A little bit of rounding can happen, not a disaster. These are fairly standard numbers. Somebody's actually made sure there isn't any rounding. Always the nearest pound. Any more than that would be unnecessary in terms of accuracy. If this was the full step down method, there'd actually be a number here because stores would have been split between paint, canning and maintenance, but it isn't, it's one step and then direct. And you'd have to remember to bring both those bits uh, to the total. So now we're looking to split the 423,400 currently lodged charge to the maintenance department between paint and canning and they've given us some data in the question 7,000 maintenance hours and 5,500 adding up to 12,500 so if we do 7,000 divided by times the bill we get the proportion and then equals and we can double check that one we know what number should come up and of course just to double check we know it is zeros and we know it would be zeros. So we've done all the hard work now. Uh, common mistake though, forget the reapportionment or ignore the totals at the top. So these total overheads to profit centre will be its own original primary allocation plus a reapportionment plus another reapportionment plus the final reapportionment. And then canning will get the same, but obviously a different amount. And this is where we know we're correct if we come back to 4,058,000, which we are, which means we've got all 11 marks out of 170.